The Window Show is the UK's greatest ever IT show and is brought to you by IT Events. Welcome to the Window Show 96 CD-ROM that's being given free of charge to 130,000 people on the Exhibition Show Guide and this month's PC Pro magazine. Visitors flock to the Windows Show to see the latest Windows software and other related computing products. They sit in on test drives to try systems out for themselves. And they come from a spectrum of positions in a myriad of companies and organisations, from small home office to the largest corporation. The Windows Show, the UK's greatest ever IT show. The Windows Show 96 CD-ROM has been published to complement the show with one purpose. To let visitors take a little piece of the show home with them. We're now going to take just a few moments to tell you what you can look forward to on this CD. At the end of this sequence, we'll tell you how to skip it the next time you run the CD. Ten nový OS je varpě vynikající. Opravdu vynikající. OS je vár. Ten nový software od IBM. Zrovna jsem o něm četla v časopise. Máte tam opravdový multitasking? Snadný přístup do internetu. Hrozně ráda bych tu síť vyzkoušel. Oh, to můj beeper. Arawak has teamed up with PC Pro, the UK's leading magazine for real-world computing, to bring you PC Pro Interactive. You can pose those tough questions to the people with the answers from Microsoft, IBM, Macromedia, Pipex and Lotus. Find out more about companies in our interactive features in the Windows Show Spotlight. If you miss Bull on their stand, or want to see Visio demonstrated again, or wish the boss had been with you when you saw that Microsoft demo of Office 95 at the show, no problem. It's all here. Also on the disc is your chance to use your PC as your own personal business TV channel with exclusive video clips. See excerpts from IBM's president Lou Gerstner at Comdex on network-centric computing. See how the world will use the internet and the communicating PC in Intel's showcase video clip, Max's Dream. And see the Panasonic Multimedia Notebook PC in action. The Superhighway figures largely on the CD-ROM this year, telling you everything you want to know. So, if you don't know your URLs from your HTMLs, look no further than the Pipex feature, which will make sense of it all, and even offer you a free trial. Check out Macromedia's Shockwave Gallery. Go on a tour of the Microsoft Network, or check out web page creation specialist Web Media. There are free trial offers of internet access software from WorldScope, and Telmi will show you the easiest and quickest way to get everyday essential information for your business. Try out the latest version of CompuServe's WinSim software. Try Microsoft's Internet Explorer, and marvel at the live demonstration of Quarterdeck's WebTalk technology and see a voice call being made between London and LA over the net. If you want to get stuck in, the CD gives you the opportunity to try out software for yourself, after, of course, you've seen it demonstrated by the experts. Try Macromedia's multimedia software, or Corel Draw 6, the best in 32-bit graphics exclusively for Windows 95. How about Claris FileMaker Pro, or Quarterdex QMosaic web browser? It's all here. Forget the lottery for a moment. This year you have more than one chance of winning a prize. Bull's sister company, Zenith Data Systems, are offering you the chance to win a desktop Pentium PC with our cover competition. In the IBM feature you can also pick up a Butterfly ThinkPad Portable or one of a hundred runner-up prizes. But hurry, the entries need to be in soon. It's not all work either. For those of you looking to relieve the stress, we have what we at Arawak feel is the coolest CD-ROM ever pressed into plastic. You Don't Know Jack is a funky interactive quiz show game where high culture meets pop culture. For once, you'll be a hit when you take your notebook to dinner parties. The Windows Show CD-ROM, the disc that gives you the chance to take a piece of the show home with you. Enjoy it and let us know what you think. Hello, Steve. Hi. I've checked, checked the inventory, inventory. Here's, here's the situation. I can do 25,000 units. units, I can give you the top 10 sellers in margin, I can give you the top 10 sellers in volume, I can break it down by category, by week, by store, by garment. Come in, I'll give you a minute. You could double your sales. Yes, do you mind? What do you mean nobody's going to wear chartreuse? I'm going to wear chartreuse my hair. I'm wearing it now, as a matter of fact. Would you send me an email to confirm? This is very good, you won't regret it.
To help you find your way around the CD and have complete control over where you go and how quickly, we've built a few features into the CD. For example, whenever audio or video are playing, you can skip them by clicking anywhere on the screen. You can follow a logical route through the CD. You can click on the section logo that will appear in a corner of the screen. For example, click on the Microsoft logo in the Microsoft section. For extra control, if you move your mouse to the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, this controller will appear. This control takes you back through a sequence. And this control takes you forward. This control will take you back to the previous menu or get you out of the section you're in at the time. And this one lets you adjust the volume, up or down. To skip this intro sequence the next time you run this CD-ROM, just hold the control key down and click the screen anywhere at the same time. OK, so this is the main menu of the Windows Show 96 CD-ROM. Explore and enjoy. Don't forget to move your mouse to the bottom left-hand corner of the screen to bring the controller up when you want to quit or navigate your way around. If you're running Windows 95, don't forget to turn your taskbar off to auto-hide mode. Here's the section of the Windows Show 96 CD-ROM that lets you see all the video clips in one place. When you've seen them, the section that contained them is just one click away. So if you decide to watch IBM's UK software director introducing their section, click and check out the rest of it. Run, session, play music. Oh no, no, no. Uh, uh. Yes. Well done, Toshi. Yeah, it's coming through. No problem. Good luck. Well done. Thanks.
Yes, I'm preparing to upload now. Alors, mes petits chauds, qu'est-ce que c'est le nom de cette dolphin? Yeah. No. Step the bell. Bon, d'accord. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, Max. Call me back. When you're ready to send it. Let me find it. Right, go to B deck. Steady. I need to see it. Right. Shut it off. We'll send you our replacement tomorrow. First thing. Yeah. 
Doesn't he just get more? He couldn't lose them all. It's no good. Here's six pairs already. Yes, Mary. Your diagnosis is correct. You should start treatment right away. Thank you, Doctor. James, please give my thanks to the choir. They sound fantastic. You're welcome. I'm just sending you my final version. Terrific. I can't wait to hear it. Thanks a lot.
computers and multimedia are used more and more today to deliver business presentations. But it's not always easy to get hold of the presentation facilities that you need when you need them. Panasonic's amazing CF41 Multimedia Notebook PC allows you to deliver any type of presentation almost anywhere. Its amazing active matrix color screen has a wide viewing angle and exceptional clarity and color depth and its Pentium processor plays back the smoothest full screen video. The CF41 lets you deliver presentations that sell. This is the heart of the Windows Show 96 CD-ROM. Interactive features on the companies that really are the Windows industry with their range of software and services. Roll over each one to see what they offer. There is literally hours of information here. Be sure to check it all out. Welcome to Microsoft's section on this year's Windows Show CD-ROM. Here you can take a look at Windows 95, see demonstrations of the key features of Office 95, or find out about Microsoft's exciting products for publishing on, as well as getting on, the Internet. Microsoft Windows 95 operating system allows you to unlock the potential of your computer. You can now work even easier and faster, exploring exciting new possibilities and making it more fun. The things you've always wanted to try, from electronic mail to internet connections, are now possible. Plus, configuring plug-and-play compatible modems, CD-ROM drives and other peripherals is automatic. Windows 95 offers enhanced multimedia, more powerful features for laptops, and integrated and seamless networking. Video is larger and smoother with enhanced support for fast action games, making Windows 95 one of the biggest improvements ever to come to the PC. Hi there, my name is David Weeks and I work in the Windows 95 product marketing team. I'm here today to show you how easy Windows 95 is to use, how powerful it is and how much fun you can have with it. If you'd like to know more, click below. Let's see how easy Windows 95 is to use. From the start button we can go in and go to the programs option and launch applications such as Word as Excel. I'm going to launch Explorer. This is the replacement for File Manager within Windows 3.1. And what it does is it gives me a global view of my PC. I can view my A drive, my C drive, and the, all the network connections I'm connected to. Also within Windows 95, we can right-hand mouse click on just about anything. I can right-hand mouse click on this folder and bring up various properties such as sharing this folder, or even the properties of the folder so I can see what type of application it is, etc. And that's just a very quick overview of some of the easy features of Windows 95. Let's take a look and see how powerful Windows 95 is. From here I can launch the Microsoft Internet Explorer 2 and I immediately go straight into my home page where I have various subjects here. I can even go to a favorites option where I can launch the Microsoft Windows 95 home page. And from here, from here I get various topics about Windows 95. I'm going to go away and have launched the Learn About Windows 95 page. And in here it brings up various subjects, including corporate migration stories. And from here I can launch this and find out how other companies have been successful in migrating to Windows 95. If I want to go back, I just click on this button here and go back to the Windows 95 home page. But I can also go off and have a bit of fun. I'm interested in cars and I can launch the MG homepage here. So this just shows you how powerful Windows 95 can be. Windows 95 really is fun because it's set to become the hottest games and multimedia platform around. With the development of DirectX technologies, Windows 95 will give faster gameplay, better graphics and enhanced sound. But for most people, it will be the automatic installation of games and multimedia titles, thanks to autoplay. Just pop in the CD, and it will install and automatically play the CD. Windows 95 is fun.
Microsoft Win. So, for more information on Windows 95, call Microsoft or check out the Microsoft homepages on the World Wide Web, or contact your supplier of Microsoft software. Microsoft Office for Windows 95 does more than remove the barriers between programs. It makes your software more accessible and intuitive. You can now perform tasks in record time with IntelliSense technology. Spell checking and formatting happens automatically, and built-in wizards walk you through more complex tasks. The programs all work together and work alike, so you can manage key contacts in Schedule Plus and drop the addresses into Word, turn reports into PowerPoint presentations, and convert customer lists in Excel into a relational database in Access, plus much more. Hi, I'm Oliver Roll and I manage Microsoft Office in the UK. We're going to take a look at three IntelliSense features inside of Microsoft Office that help you do more in less time. We'll take a look at auto format and auto correct in Microsoft Word. We'll take a look at the answer wizard. We'll actually help you and answer your questions for you. And also we'll take a look at the data map facility that will help you graphically display your data as maps. Make a selection now. Let's take a look at auto format and auto correct in Microsoft Word 95, two IntelliSense features. Notice I type in EOY and expanded that for me. How often do you type some equal signs or dashes to put a line under? I press return. Now with background auto format, it corrects that for me. An asterisk to be used as a bullet point. TEH, I press space, it corrects it. Uppercase TH and another expansion. What about a registered trademark symbol? Again, it's corrected that for me. I press return, it's smartened up the bullet point. Now how often do you do this one? You press the caps lock key and you then end up with a whole document or a word or a paragraph like this. Press space, not only does it correct that for you, it actually turns off the caps lock key. Well done Western Region. And because you've done so well, a couple of symbols for you. Let's put a nice arrow in. And uh, I think you're going to get some big bonuses. So you're going to be a happy bunch. The um, smiley face. That's auto format and auto correct in Word 95. Inside all the Office 95 applications, you have your own personal assistant, the Answer Wizard, whom you can ask any question about how to do something. And the Answer Wizard will then actually go away and show you how to do it. So I'm going to type in, how do I print sideways? Because I don't know how to print landscape or um, portrait orientation. I choose display, I choose set page orientation, I choose next and now my hands aren't on the keyboard the answer wizard is actually showing me what I'd have to do it's going to file, page setup, it's actually bringing me the dialog box I want allowing me to specify portrait or landscape and it's actually done that for me so the answer wizard you can use to ask any question regardless of what it is and it will actually show you how to do that task making it very easy to learn Office 95 facility in Office 95 allows you to display and analyze data geographically. I have a spreadsheet here with sales information about how each of my salespeople is doing around the different regions of the UK. I've already used data maps to create a map of the UK for me and this is where the real power comes out. I can now take my column headings from my spreadsheets which have appeared in this dialog box, ask for a pie chart to be added and take a look at how my drink sales, how my bean sales and also how my accessories sales are doing around those different regions. And you can see that my map is updated automatically and the size of the pie chart reflects how well I've been doing uh, in each of those regions. The map I can add all sorts of features to. You can see I have the labels option here. So if I choose map features, you can see in the UK we can go right the way down to UK two digit postcode. We're going to choose UK major cities, accept that and we're going to see that all those cities have appeared on my map 
I'm going to click on the label facility, ask for major cities, and you can see now when I hover over those, you can see we found Newcastle, uh, and down here we've got Reading, and also Luton, and also Brighton. That's data maps. You can also just very easily just drag and drop those to your other Word or Office application. Microsoft Office for Windows 95 does more than remove the barriers. So for more information on Office 95, call Microsoft or check. Here you can find out more about Microsoft's exciting new products that you can use to publish and manage your information on the Internet. Or discover more about MSN, the Microsoft Network, the easiest way to access the Internet. Make a selection now. Microsoft have developed a number of browser, server, viewer, authoring and developing products specifically for the Internet. Here you will find a brief overview of these products. More information is available on Microsoft's website. If you're an Internet developer, be sure to mark your calendar for the three-day professional developers conference on building Internet applications. March the 12th to the 14th in San Francisco, California. If you're running Windows 95, Windows 3.1 or Macintosh, try our Microsoft Internet Explorer, Microsoft's new Internet browser. For information on Microsoft Internet Explorer features and a copy of the latest version, see the Microsoft Internet Explorer page. Microsoft Front Page is an application that provides users with the fastest and easiest way to develop and maintain high-quality websites without programming. Its client-server architecture supports authoring, scripting and management of a website over the Internet, across a local area network or even on a personal workstation. Here you can find out more. MSN, the Microsoft Network, is the first Internet online service, a complete online experience for PC users. MSN is simply the easiest way to access the Internet and surf the World Wide Web. It gives you an online multimedia experience and an active community of unique services and events, and of course, electronic mail. Best of all though, MSN is the best value Internet online service you can join. Make a selection to find out more. MSN Access is built into Windows 95, so when you buy Windows 95, all you have to do is plug your modem in and click the MSN icon on the Windows 95 desktop. Enter your member name and password and you're connected to MSN and the Internet. It couldn't be easier or quicker. Once you're on MSN, surfing the World Wide Web couldn't be easier. To search for information, you can use MSN's superb navigation tools such as guidebooks, sightseeing guides, hotlinks and category trees. When you see what you're looking for inside the sightseeing guide, just click it for information about that site's location and wherever it is on the web, MSN will take you there. MSN's editorially guided surfing makes it easy for users to get the information they want regardless of where it's located. Of course, if you know where your favourite website is located, just type the address in your web browser and let MSN take you there. Of course, with MSN, you also get unique multimedia applications to make your online experience fun, educational and engaging. Content such as encyclopedias, dictionaries, car buying guides and theatre listings really make the MSN online experience something special. And if you use Microsoft Consumer Products, you can use MSN to get updates to CD titles, such as Cinemania and Music Central, so that you're never out of date. There are also many special services and events for UK MSN members and members worldwide that really make you feel part of a community. Use the special VChat chat rooms to talk to other MSN users in a series of virtual worlds that you can choose. Use bulletin board to find out what others think of the latest Bond film, or maybe to tell others what you think about your pet subject. And of course, take part in many of the special events that MSN puts on for its UK members regularly, like those from On UK.
Of course, MSN comes complete with an easy-to-use electronic mail system that allows you to communicate with MSN and Internet users around the world. Just click the Email button on MSN, push the Compose button, and you can send mail to anyone online. Use different fonts and colors to really put your message across. And if you want to tell someone about a great MSN or World Wide website, such as the MSN homepage that you've found, just copy a shortcut into the message. When the recipient receives your mail, all they need to do is click the shortcut and MSN takes them to that location. Of course you want value for money from an internet online service. With MSN you also get a daily update of what's new on the service with MSN Today. Up-to-date news and information from the service's news package, MSN News, and many other great information, reference and fun services. And it's all included in one great value price. MSN, the Microsoft Network, is the first Internet online service to provide you with everything you need to get access to a whole new world of thinking and communicating. It's so easy. Click the MSN icon in Windows 95 and have the best Internet experience that you could wish for. To find out more about these or any other Microsoft product, check out their website on the World Wide Web or call this number now. If you thought the World Wide Web was just a collection of dull, static text screens with a few graphics at the top, then you're probably not alone. It is. Well, it was, because Macromedia's shockwave technology really is setting it alight and revolutionising the way people see the World Wide Web and what they see and do on it. Now it's possible to create an interactive application using Macromedia Director, the industry standard multimedia authoring software that was used to create this CD-ROM, and include that interactive movie as an element on a web page using Macromedia Shockwave. Macromedia have included exclusively on this CD-ROM a collection of the coolest websites in cyberspace, websites that have been shocked, that is they include interactive shockwave elements on them. To view them, all you have to do is point your copy of version 2 of the Netscape Navigator, if you've got it, at the URL shown here, and off you go. For more information about Shockwave, visit Macromedia's own website on the net, probably the second coolest website out there. Hi there, and welcome to the IBM interactive feature on the CD. I'm Simon Dyson, I'm the software director for IBM in the UK. You'll be seeing Lou Gerstner's presentation at Comdex on the future of network-centric computing. And you'll be hearing from John Thompson on the future of OS2, and a piece on the marriage of IBM and Lotus. I'm sure you'll find plenty of things to interest you on the CD, and maybe by the end, you'll share our vision of the future of computing. And the surprise is to be won, amongst them the award-winning IBM ThinkPad. And you catch up with me later in the interactive interview with PC Pro magazine. I look forward to seeing you then. Lou Gassner. We are making enormous investments in internet products and services because we think the internet represents the most powerful manifestation of what network-centric computing will be. The internet has been a wild and woolly electronic frontier. The settlers are arriving every day. Every day the internet grows in size and reach and importance. Every day people and more function, more security and capabilities Go to the net. You may have seen the announcement we made at Internet World a few weeks ago. We're putting together Lotus Notes, 
internodes, IBM network software and services. The idea is to help our customers reach their customers by securely linking their core business systems to the internet. I think we will make our visions reality. Find out more about IBM's vision and strategy for OS2 from the company's general manager of personal software products, John W. Thompson. In 1996 and 97, we will continue to extend and improve OS2 as the desktop client for connected consumers, as well as strengthen Warp as a robust industrial strength server solution that will simplify distributed computing for businesses and work groups of all sizes. These include OS2 Warp Server, Eagle, Merlin, the next release of the OS2 Warp client, and microkernel based architecture. OS2 Warp Server, in beta at the moment, will be announced on the first day of the Windows Show in February 1996 and is a reaffirmation to the marketplace of the commitment to OS2. IBM will extend the work done with Warp Server. Eagle is a stack of application servers including directory and security services, database, transaction, Internet, Systems Management, Lotus Notes, Communications. Each of these servers will install the same way, giving customers, resellers and system integrators simpler installations, operations, management and maintenance. The architecture is open. Non-IBM servers can be ready for Eagle. The next release of the OS2 Warp client codename Merlin is designed to appeal to the connected users as well as corporate users. Integration of all connections delivered in Warp Connect, including Notes Express, much improved user interface, improved multimedia and game capabilities, network aware shell, update bonus pack, just add Warp utility which ensures that your so is IBM truly committed to OS2? Well, let's put it in this context. OS2's success in the last 12 months has yielded 4 million net new licenses for a gross number of customers of over 10 million worldwide. I don't know about you, but I've never seen the IBM company walk away from a commitment to customers. We've always serviced our customers very well, and we've always stood behind the products that we've moved in the marketplace. So it's inconceivable to me that we would take a tack it's very different when we've just shipped four million net new licenses. Now, if that's not proof enough, let's think about it in this context. Combined, IBM and Lotus have the products to solve today's problems. We have team tools, development tools, middleware, systems management, high performance platforms, and world class services to mention just a few. We're also leading the way into a new model of computing where the network is no longer boxes and cables and operating systems. Instead, the network is becoming the shared applications, middleware and services that increases your choices of how and with whom you do business with. IBM and Lotus are greater than the... This chart details... In summary, between... Now your chance to win a fantastic prize. An IBM ThinkPad Notebook PC with butterfly keyboard. All you have to do to win it is click below to print out an entry form, answer the questions and fax, email or post your entry in. There are also a hundred runner-up prizes of IBM game software, so your chances of winning something are good. Go for it! Click the IBM logo or use the controller when you want to continue. PC Pro is the only monthly magazine that examines computing in the real world. We pride ourselves on our honesty, basing our opinions on practice rather than theory. Our experienced staff and freelance writers of the highest caliber work together to ensure that our news, reviews, features and lab reports provide in-depth, hard-hitting analysis, impossible to find elsewhere in the marketplace. Because of this unique mix, PC Pro is highly respected in the personal computer industry and has become the essential read for PC users. 
Welcome to the PC Pro Interactive section of the Windows Share 96 CD-ROM. I'm Derek Cohen, Editor-in-Chief of PC Pro. Together with my team of writers and outside contributors, PC Pro brings you a critical and informed view of the real world of personal computing. Every month we deliver heart-hitting mix of news, reviews, lab reports and in-depth features on the expanding world of PCs and new technology. PC Pro is respected for its views and we're not afraid to criticise where necessary and praise where appropriate and our views are respected both by our readers and by the computer industry itself. OK, now it's your turn to get involved. Find out more about operating systems or get some in-depth answers on office suites. You can ask questions of the leaders in multimedia or grill the experts on the information superhighway. Go on, make a selection. Hi, I'm Davey Winder. I write the online section for PC Pro. That's all about the internet, the superhighway, if you've really got to use that awful word. This is your chance to ask the experts, ask the people who matter, what's going on with the internet. Find out their strategy, what's Microsoft up to? What do Pipex think is going to be the future of the internet? You can ask Jeremy Gittens from Microsoft UK and Matt Townsend from Pipex. Who do you want to interview? Make a selection. Hi, I'm Jeremy Gittins. I'm the Internet Server Product Manager here at Microsoft in the UK. No doubt there's a lot of content on the Internet that some people just don't want access to. Uh, Microsoft is a technology company. We're going to make it very easy for people to get on the Internet. But we do feel we have a responsibility to work with all the major players on the Internet to make sure that parents, teachers, and anybody else who uses the Internet has control over what they or their relatives have access to. Now, what we're going to do as a company, we're going to work very closely with all the bodies that govern the Internet. The one that we're working very closely with right now is the World Wide Web Consortium. And what we're going to do is come up with a rating very sim similar to the uh, film rating that you have when you go to the cinema. You know, the, uh, in my day it was X films and A films. It's probably changed since then. Um, but what we're going to do is come up with this similar sort of rating and also implement a standard so that software can govern what you have access to on the Internet. So once all the content has a rating, the software will allow you to choose what you can access. Well, the Microsoft Network, let's deal with that one first of all. The Microsoft Network is going to make it very easy for our customers to get on the Internet. Today, it's clearly quite difficult to get on the Internet. No matter what anybody tells you, the Microsoft Network is going to revolutionize access to the Internet. Um, it's also going to be the best stop on the Internet and also the way that anybody can find what they want on the Internet without having to use uh, complex search engines. Now, the Microsoft Network will be part of the Internet. It is part of the Internet. The future of the Internet, well, that, that's, a, that's another question, really. Um, we believe that the Internet will be, and to use Al Gore's term, the information superhighway of the future. Um, right now, the bandwidth, in other words, the speed at which you can transfer data um, over the Internet is pretty impressive, but it's going to improve. There is the technology out there to enable very, very quick, a very, very uh, quick transfer of data over the Internet. Now, when you, when you achieve that, then the, I the Internet really grows up and will potentially be the channel which you will have TV, telephone, computer data, com information from the Internet downloaded to your office or to your home. It will become the information superhighway. The dynamics are right, there are a lot of people investing money, a lot of great ideas out there on the Internet, and this will no doubt turn the Internet into this term called the information superhighway. Hi, I'm Matt Townend. I'm the marketing manager for Unipalm Pipex. Well, they need a personal computer to start off with. Um, uh, I would recommend a Windows-based um, PC. They need a modem. I would recommend at the moment to get a fast modem because in a year's time that's going to be too slow. So a 28-8 modem, for instance. And, of course, they need an access provider to give them access to the Internet. And there's a number of those, but obviously I would recommend Pipex um, 
and they're the three main things that you need to actually get started. Oh yeah, and you need a telephone line to plug your modem into. You can now jump straight to companies on the Windows Show 96 CD with interactive features on the superhighway. Make a selection now or use the controller to jump back to the main menu. Hi, my name is Val Quinn and I'm responsible for the labs. Who do you want to interview? Make a selection. Hello, my name is Sue Thexton and I'm the Managing Director of Macromedia UK. Hi, my name is Anne Mitchard. I'm the Senior Windows 95 Product Manager at Microsoft UK. I think this must ultimately um, be what's currently known today as the interactive TV. Basically, at the moment, you've got a huge amount of intelligence, if you like to call it that, within your personal computer, um, which enables you to do a lot of things like um, manipulate data, make your own decisions about what that computer is going to do. But on the other hand, on the television, you've got um, very um, good quality graphics and real-time uh, events occurring, but it's a completely dumb terminal. There's nothing, no control that you have over any of that information that's coming to you. The interactive TV basically means that you can combine the two so that you can get um, real-time, uh, high-quality um, video and sound coming into um, a device, but you actually have choices over that so that you can choose, say, the endings to different films. You can, um, instead of having to walk to your local video store, you can rent any video that's ever been made in the whole of the history of the world just by simply giving your credit card number into the interactive TV and selecting that video down um, over the information superhighway. Um, so that's basically how I think the two devices will eventually merge. Multimedia is... Hi, I'm... Who do you want to interview? Make a select. Hi, my name's Anne Mitchard. I'm the Senior Windows 95 Product Manager at Microsoft UK. Well, the uh, wallet PC is something that um, is designed basically to replace a lot of the things that you carry around every day with you. So it'll have a lot of thing capabilities that you'd have in your file of facts today, so scheduling and personal time management. It will replace things like your credit cards. You'll just have um, a personal sort of like security key that you can broadcast um, to tills in shops and things like that to be able to debit and credit your account at your bank. It'll probably contain your key for your front door an electronic key to enable you to get into your house and various things like that. You'll be able to store hundreds if you want to photographs of your family and dog rather than just the one. There's going to be a lot of things in there. There may even be things like route finders. So if you're in a city and you're lost, you'll be able to say, I'm in this city, where am I? And it'll give you a little map. The whole of this technology basically is actually already available today in different types of software and different um, types of hardware. And it's all about actually bringing hardware the size of the hardware with the power that it needs to do this down and also at a price point that's going to probably be less, significantly less than £500. And so it's just waiting now for the technology and the price point to catch up and, and then this thing will become a, a standard consumer item. You can now jump... Avoid the queues. Reserve your copy of PC Pro F The Windows Show is brought to you by IT Events. See you next year. We are the Arawak Posse. Well, that's the Windows Show 96 CD-ROM. We hope you enjoyed and found it interesting. If you have any comments, email us with them at arawak at msn.com. Be sure to enter the competitions, whether to win the Zenith PC or the IBM ThinkPad. The odds should be really good. Don't forget that the next time you run the Windows Show 96 CD, that you can skip the introduction sequence and come straight here.
by just holding the control key down and clicking anywhere on the screen during the introduction. Whatever you do, the next time you run this CD-ROM, don't click this Arawak logo.